Today I want to report back on the light fastness tests that I've conducted using RS Paint. So the first thing I want to just mention is I am in South Africa down here and you can see it's dark red and red so it means our sun is rather intense and strong in South Africa in comparison to the rest of the world. So you can see Europe it's got a much lighter color and here on the eastern side of America is much lighter color which means the sun is less strong and therefore paint will be affected less than what paint will be affected down here in South Africa. So there's a lot of parameters that influences how fast paint degrades or lose color and, and one of the parameters is the strength of the sun and humidity and also in what matrix the paint is. So when you look at tables like these tables there's a lot of parameters that will influence how fast paints will change color and that's why these ranges are given. So currently I am in the southern hemisphere we are having winter so I'm now looking at this table over here. So which means I need to wait rather long to do a light force test. So when you look at Dolaroni paints, good light fastness test, it's got an ASTM rating of 1 and 2, that gives you the 3 and 4 star ratings. So in my opinion, I'd like to only work with paint that's got this type of ratings. Well, I can do experiments with other lower ACM ratings, but when it comes to selling art, I'm not really comfortable selling that art. So the art that I want to sell, that paint needs to have an ACM rating of 1 and 2 to ensure that the artwork won't change color soon. I think when we work in the 50 to 100 years, that's fine, but for me, 15 years are a bit on the low side. So I feel comfortable working in this range. It's winter time, so that means the color needs to be stable for about five months. But this is not the only table that's available in literature. Here is a review about the light fastness of printing inks. And they give these two tables, so which means I would like to work in this area, so that's the paint needs to be stable at least one month, but I don't know whether this is now summertime or winter time. And then also over here is another table which also says about five to six months in winter time. So, but you can now see it's in Turkey, so I think the sun is not as strong as the South African sun. So I will work on the lower end of this range for the winter months. Another thing I would like to to mention is that when you use intense color, that's now color that's not diluted, it's, they talk about the mass tone, then it's much more stable than when it's diluted. So over here it's now, they talk about tint, so it's diluted with white paint and you can see as soon as it's diluted with white paint, the stability of the paint is lower. You can imagine now when you have a bag of sweets that is full and you eat one sweet, you will not really notice that one is missing. But if you only have three sweets and you eat one, it's very noticeable. In the same way over here, if it's the paint pigment is diluted, there's not many of those pigment molecules. So then it's easier to notice a change in color. I'm sure over here the, the, the color has also change but you just can't see it with the naked eye. Mixing the paint with white pigment uh, accelerates the taste because then you can see much faster if there's a color change. The other thing that could also be happening is that white paint typically has the pigment titania and it's well known that that is a photocatalytic catalyst so that can accelerate the change in color. A catalyst is, is a, a substance that makes a rate of reaction faster, so it will make the paint to change its chemical structure faster, thus losing its color. So there's two possible factors why mixing it with 
what paint can make a difference. First is the concentration effect, that it's more noticeable when you're working at a lower concentration. And then the second factor is that the white paint can act as a catalyst. So let's look at the results I have so far. So I'm going to give you now the light fastness test results of the iris paint from Prime Art. So the pigments or the paint that I've used was the red 238 Gatim Red U, Titanium Y17, Ivory Black 650, Primary Blue 003, Gatim Yellow U120. So, but now in these paints, I do not know which pigments are in it, and I have no idea about the light fastness test. And therefore, I started doing my own light fastness test. It's not very scientific because I don't have a mass balance and I can't control how much UV light this um, paint has been exposed to. I mean, ideally, you shouldn't be doing it in just sunlight, you should be having a UV light so you can control the quantity the paint has been radiated with but so my tests are really not scientific but at least it gives us an indication so if there's no results available in literature about the iris paint then the best next best thing is to just do one's own test so in comparison i'm also using the indoloroni Gryla lemon yellow by3 because that's the paint that i have that's got a light fastness of according to the ASTM method of two. So that's, I'm using this as a reference because I do not have the Bluehool reference available, which would have been ideally to have been used to make it more scientific. So over here, I've started off on the left hand side in the slide with just one strip of paint and then I cut it in half, the right hand half I had in the cupboard and then the left hand side are exposed in the sun. So then after one month in the sun you can see that most of the colors remained constant. Only the red has started losing color where it's the full undiluted pigment it's no you don't observe any change but where it was diluted with water you can see a change. All the other colors are still looking fine. So here is just a close-up to be able to see better. So don't compare the entire strip, just compare where it's been cut because they one would expect the colour to be very similar and you can see where it's been exposed to the sun, it's much lighter. But where the pigment has been used without dilution, we do not see any change and all the other colours didn't change in the sun yet. Okay, so over here I've taken out the colours and I've mixed it with Titania because Titania could potentially be a photocatalytic catalyst and it can accelerate the degradation of the paint losing its color. So so that's why I then started mixing all my colors with white. So at the first layer or the first line it's the undiluted paint and then I've diluted it with different amounts of Titania white paint. So over here it's slightly diluted, here it's more diluted. Here it's also diluted, so undiluted and diluted, undiluted and diluted, undiluted and diluted. So in all the cases. So this is now before it was exposed to the sun. So over here, after one month, you can see that the red has changed as well. And once again, when it's diluted with white, it's more noticeable. So you can see in both cases where it was diluted with, with white, you can see it's been changed where the pigment was used undiluted, we can't see a change yet. This is just a close-up of the same photo on the left, and you can see that the red has started losing color after one month in the sun. So I decided to repeat the analysis. So over here, that's now after two weeks in the sun, and a bigger swatch that I can see a bit better. And also, once again, after just two weeks in the sun we can already see a change. On this strip I've added the Dolorone Lemon Yellow. Also I've, I've made this strip at the same time and you can see the Dolorone ye Yellow. That's the paint I have with the lowest ASTM value. It hasn't changed yet. So one can for definitely say that this red has an ACM value of 3 or higher. So we are ideally wanting the ACM method 
value to be 1 and the lower the ACM method value the worse the paint. So, so if we go back to this table we need an ACM rating of 1 and 2 or a blue hull rating of 6, 7 or 8. So that's why I've used the Dollaroni lemon yellow as a reference as the minimum specification. If the paints with unknown light falseness test characteristics behave similar to the lemon yellow then I would classify it as fine. If it degrades, loses color faster than the lemon yellow then it means it's at ACM rating 3 or lower then I'm going to say that paint I can't use in paintings I would like to sell. So I'm using now the Kryla lemon yellow paint as a, a type of reference. And if you now compare the pink in comparison to the dollar Roni lemon yellow, then the pink, the red has changed color, but the lemon yellow is still stable, which means this red is not suitable to be used in paintings you'd like to sell.